All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, Epigee's doing uh, some scary games right now. My current goal is to write the script for a spooky game. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna anything's gonna come of it or anything like that, but I figured part of doing that is going to be researching some other scary games. So right now we're in Amnesia: The Dark Descent. We're gonna play through this and see if I can abstract from it some proper horror elements of what I would like to see in a video game or what they what I think they did right. Um, so I think we're going to do mostly a playthrough, um, just right off the bat, and then from there go into um, a series of like what they did right, what they did wrong. And some sort of review thing. So I've got everything set up here, right? Darkness over here. Headphones that you can hardly see, but uh, alas, they're on. Left and right. Perfect. Um, I've already started this game, but only just gone through the intro sequence. That told me I was supposed to play it like this. Got the gamma balanced and all that shit. Um, so, without further... Uh, probably just normal then. Alright, start a normal game. Without further ado, Epigee and Amnesia. Um, so far, not too scared, and I know very little about this game. I watched a playthrough probably five years ago or something when it first came Don't out. Forget, Ooh. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What okay. have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Okay. Oh, Daniel. I am Daniel. Maybe. We don't know who's talking. Jump scare? Mm. Okay. So that that should have meaning at some point later in the future, right? Oh, it, it, you can actually hear it. Like, in my left ear, the water is dripping, but, like, specifically in the left side. If I spin, will it... Oh, oh the sound rotates around me. That's spooky. Okay. A memento's been added to your journal. Uh, JY. For quick access to memento, press M. Uh, mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find it. So, okay, so mementos are, like, um, quests, it seems. M for memento. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. Um. Hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse in order to move the door. Press right mouse to throw the door. Press right mouse button to throw the door open or shut. Press right mo mouse button. Okay, right mouse button doesn't seem to do it, but... Okay. Tinder boxes are used to light candles and other sources in the environment. The current number of tinder boxes are in the inventory. One. No oil. Here's my journal. See, everything feels blurry. I don't know if that's on purpose, but... Oh. Okay. Okay, so I can slam it. Or I can open it. Alright. What if I just click on it? Hold on. Alright, no. Alright, I have to double click. Um. Alright, so far so good. Looks like there's a cave-in. I wonder if that's why I am where I am. Alright, looks like a gust of wind blowing through. Right mouse button to throw it. Hold down R to rotate the object. Oh. Okay, so quite a bit of freedom. Oh! Right. Oh! No, no, no! Oh! I don't want to do that. I don't think. Oh, I did not want to do that. Whatever, there's probably more. Is there a run? It appears to be a crouch. Does not appear to be a run. 
Wait, I saw this in that spooky sequence earlier, where I am Daniel? Uh oh. I'm actually a little bit scared. Can I put, put it on my head? Guess not. The breathing... The breathing is a nice element, but knowing this is a video game actually changes how you play this a little bit. So, for instance, because I haven't... Because I really haven't had any choices so far, that door popping open randomly is a little bit less scary because I know I don't really have a choice of not seeing what's inside there. Okay, seems like a hidey spot. Can I read this note? Seems like I should be able to read that note, but all right. The breath sounds are a nice touch. Also, that loud sound where I'm accidentally thwacked at is actually a little bit jolting. Okay, that's a little immersion breaking, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I was I was applauding the sound design and ended up jamming a broom through a wall. Happens. Not having a sprint is interesting too. I don't know if that's a a better or worse game decision, but uh it does feel like a deliberate choice. Okay, is there a hidden hidden door behind here? Appears not. And the breath sounds are quite startling. Oh, it's this liquid trail. By pressing N. Okay. Um, did I miss anything over here? Oh, the big door. This is one instance where, like, running is a little bit more helpful. It's jolting, but I don't know why. Like, I'm uncomfortable, but I'm unsure of the reason just because it played a musical sting suit of armors I'd say are a really nice touch though um, I don't know what's being depicted here the suit of armors feel like a good touch because they're humanoid so like out here this looks like a human shape um But you grow familiar with them, so in the distance, they're a little bit scary. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Okay, the castle lurching really doesn't do much for me. Okay, I just can't control my... Huh. I don't know what to make of that. Because I can't control my camera. I can't control my camera, so it takes me out of the moment a little bit. Like, I definitely feel crazy, but I don't know if... 
See, like, I'm already a little bit paranoid, so I missed that door opening. And I'm not sure what I was supposed to get from it. You know? Okay. This is interesting, too, because there's clearly a main... There's clearly a main path I'm supposed to be walking, right? But there's these side areas that get thrown open that draw your attention to... Turn on lights in the environment, use a tinder box as I search for other sources of light. Okay, so here I'm fine, but in the scary room I get... Oh, so that's just supposed to introduce you to that mechanic? Is that the idea? So if I like, go over here, I can... I can light it. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. That feels a bit emergent breaking. Like, seeing my, my vision get cleared up like that. That feels more like a game mechanic than it does like a fear factor. So here's some Jesus symbology. Here's the same picture of the cattle being herded. Off the land, same esque picture there. Hmm. No, I no, I see these are covered, and I don't. I I would like to interact with this to see what what's underneath it. Otherwise, I don't know why they're there. You know. Okay. Not sure. This looks like a more important door. And it appears it's teleported me. Traveling to Dover meant to go through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of his family. Traveling to Dover meant going through... Oh. Alright. this We're still not sure what this pink liquid is. You know, the odds are this is like just Pepto-Bismol, you know? That looks like German. I don't speak German, so... Whoa! Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. You may incre increase by completing puzzles and making progress. See, again, it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to go backwards. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's bugs all over, too. Oh, God. Not that I'm grossed out by bugs. This is just really unsettling. Oh. Oh, what it just did was really interesting. It made me feel really helpless there. I don't know. It didn't... It felt like the game wanted me to do something, and it still kind of feels that way. But I don't know what it is. And that's an interesting idea. I don't know if it wants me to go forward or go into this room or... I don't know what the heck I'm hearing either. From a visual standpoint, just being able to see the splotches on the ground is is interesting. Also, it feels like I'm there's bugs just all over. Okay, it might be the darkness that's giving me problems here. Oh, see, like, this music, it feels like it's urging me forward. Oh. When filled with oil, it can be turned over pressing after selecting it in the inventory. Oh, whoops. Neat. Okay. I like the rewards for um, exploring. That seems nice. I can't quite read that. It's probably German still anyway. I also like that they give you the... Um, can you pick all these up? Just some of them. It's the same book again. I wonder if that's meaningful. 
I like that they give you the lantern right away. And then they, they kind of make you use it, you know, by walking through here. See, I didn't... I didn't like this camera shake thing from the start. I don't know what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, I have a jump? That is something I did not expect. To be able to jump. Hello? Piece of carpet? What? Oh. Should we, uh... Give this broom the same treatment. Perfect. Alright, I can now I can pass right through it. Huh. Well at least it's consistent. Oh. Nineteenth of August, eighteen thirty nine. Ooh, dialogue. I, wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. Okay. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. Don't if know who that not, is. This will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak. And yours... Young and strong. He will be no match. Who talks this way? One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare. Ooh. Breaking down reality. Creepy. I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self. self, Daniel. Weird. Okay, so that's interesting too. I like the idea of having of having a note written by you in the past that is interesting it's an interesting story element right huh this is the only way I haven't gone yet so I guess I have to backtrack a little bit more but it depends on how this whole Oh. How much oil do I have? Not a lot. Head is pounding. Hands are shaking. Health. All's good. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe I'm supposed to triple backtrack? Huh. Oh, I do have a sprint. Wonder when I locked that. Is that me making that noise? I feel like I'm confused which way forward is now. No way I'm supposed to build like a tower of shit to get up there, right? Yeah, I didn't pass some other direction, did I? Ooh. 
Ooh, also yikes. Doorway? I require one doorway. Okay, uh, I immediately... This is immersion breaking when I can't figure out the way forward. Like, I would have thought I had to backtrack to that big door. But now it just seems like I missed something. Oh, it's not bright enough in that room? Is that the idea? I don't have like a key or anything, do I? Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, kill him, his body's old and weak, shadow's following you, just run away, descend into darkness and kill the guy. Oh, got some mad air, yo. Okay. Can't appear to lift this thing at all. How's my oil? Not very much. Run through the dark part quick. Is there a door in here I'm missing? I see the blood and or wine spilled. Oh. expect that the door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old terror at Berkeley Square another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow all right nice to run hold down left shift while moving all right well clearly I'm supposed to do oh oh Alexander is it inside the castle in a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. 
and it lies well beyond the refinery. Okay. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Nice. God, that's bright when it's completely dark in the room. This is a nice bright area too. Interesting. So now it seems like I went down here and into here, right? Uh, y? Was it Y? F? Not F. M? Some sort of organic tissues. Can it be dissolved? Okay, so it appears I'm going to have to dissolve that at some point. Uh, the notes are an interesting way to keep track of that. Whoops. Uh, just because I wouldn't know exactly what to do with that, you know? Whether I'm supposed to look for a knife or something like that. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't actually matter. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh, got the squish sound. It'd be cool if we got little cockroach sound effects when I step on them. Well, maybe we do. Um. Alright, so, well, we don't know what that stuff is. It feels like some sort of bi biological mass. Um, also feels like we don't really know which way is forward. Got the laboratory, the wine cellar. Okay. Key to the wine cellar. Appears we can go into the laboratory. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, you forced me to look over there. And I don't know why. Oh, I have very low oil. Um, maybe we should light a torch over here. Oh, nice. Wonder if that's permanent. Am I supposed to look away? Oh. Interesting. There should be more Kubrat. Okay. So these are like mental flashbacks. God, yeah. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and opriment, orpiment, are given, and the cuprite binds them. The cuprite binds them well. This time, I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis. These all sound like old alchemical names, like not real. Cuprite sounds like a real one. The rest sound made up. The experiment was unsuccessful. Solution is highly acidic. Oh, convenient. So we're looking to dissolve that wall. Solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemical solution in my predicament. Okay. Oh, hello. The lack of chimney to properly vent fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I should do what I mean to move them to the wine cellar. Oh. Oh, I get it. So this is a return to later thing, it seems. Oh my god, the wailing in the background is... 
strange. So then the rest is just that cave in. So I guess we go back up. Oh. This is interesting. So we were introduced to the shadow following us earlier on, but we haven't seen anything about that since. So I expect very soon is when we will actually find something about that shadow following us. But how do I pause it? But until then, what did we learn? We learned that the sound design is very important. Didn't care too much that the bloom clipped into the wall. We like the footsteps. We like the um, mouth sounds or the, the gasping or the breathing or the, the sense that you are your own character and, like, you're hearing his fear as you do it. We don't like that we got hung up on game mechanics. That was frustrating. I didn't like that I had to double track and spend half of my lantern fuel just running around the back area, scared of, I mean, not scared so much as, uh, excuse me, annoyed about the backtracking and stuff like that. That is something we didn't love. Um, we like the light and sanity mechanic. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and then the decent foreshadowing so far. Um, the beginning was a little bit off-putting, right, with the flashback, but... Um, We'll see what the monster has to offer the next episode, I guess. Uh, that's phase one. See y'all in phase two. Uh, epigee out.